Golden and Bulolo cool with whatever we do. With whatever we do, Halei the Muni School, Nepam Nene Kudlukula, Nepangi Ragala Gaina, Nepam Nene Kudlukula, Ibulok in the Moto Nibeti Sola, Ibulok in the Auto Nibeto. Big Lamin, no? Let me think you didn't know in ten yam and Lamin. Come on, look on a new time or Lamin. Ah, hi na. Gata gata. Ah, Godo.
I welcome you again to the continuation of our inequality lessons on two and multi-step inequalities. And we shall continue from where we stopped the last time. And uh, we are to solve 12 plus 5x is greater than, less, sorry, less than 32, and then we graph it. We are to solve and graph. Uh, the previous lesson, I'll, le I'll leave you with two assignments. And these are the two. Solve 16 minus x is greater than 7x. You have to solve and graph. And again, to solve and graph the second one. So let's go to the first one now. Where we have 16 minus x is greater than 7x. We have to solve and graph. First, all we need to do is we want the value of our equations to be, our variables to be on the same path, where we have our x's to be on the same path and our x y's to be on the same path as well. So all we need to do is what? We subtract, this is a positive one, negative one, so we have to add one here. We add x here, add one x and one x. The ones should not be visible, okay? Just for explanation purposes, we, we will put the one there knowing that there is a one here as well. So this cancels out. We have 16 is greater than 7x plus x is what? 8x. Okay? So in doing so, we divide here by 8 and divide the other side also by 8. 8 cancels 8. 8 goes into 16 is 2 times. So we have 2 is greater than or equal to x. 2 is greater than or equal to x. In plotting this, we have our 0, which I told you is, is the most important digit here in as far as the number lines are concerned. And then we know we have 2 somewhere here. So we know that 2 is greater than or equal to x, meaning x is less than or equal to 2. So therefore, 2 is inclusive, 2 is inclusive, and then it points into this direction, where all the numbers there are, uh, the inequality is saying is 2 is greater than or equal to x. So therefore, we have an inequality as is here. First assignment, and our second assignment reads, 8 is greater than 5x plus 3. 8 is less than 5x plus 3. 8 is less than 5x plus 3. All we need to do here is what? Subtract 3 from both sides. Subtracting 3 from both sides means this will cancel. 3 minus 3 is going to be a 0, obviously. So 8 minus 3 is 5, which is also less than 5x. So all we need to do is to undo our variable, or undo our coefficient that is with our variable here, and to undo the multiplicational operation as well, because this is a multiplication. So the opposite of multiplication is obviously division. So we divide both sides by 5 which is 5 cancels 5, 5 goes into 5 is 1. So we have 1 is greater than x, 1 is less than x, as we have here, 1 is less than x. You can see the first option is 1 is less than x, our second option is 1 is greater than or equal to x, and our third option is 1 is less than or equal to x. Obviously, our first option is the correct option, which is A, which tells us that one is, one is less than X. So one is therefore less than X, okay? So we move on to our lesson proper today, and we are to solve and also graph. We'll continue the solving and the graphing of our inequalities. And in doing so, we have a work at hand here.
And what we have is 12 plus 5x is less than 32. 12 plus 5x is less than 12 plus 5x is less than 32. First, all we need to do is we subtract 12 from both sides. But why do we subtract 12 from both sides? Because we, we are undoing this 12 so that we can have a coefficient on the variable here. So this cancels out. We have 5x is less than 32 minus 12 is 20. So we want to isolate our variable by dividing both sides by 5. 5 cancels 5. 5 goes into 20 is 4 times. So we have x is less than 4. x is less than 4. As we can see in the options, the first option is x is greater than 4. The second option is x is less than 4. The third option is x is greater than, less than or equal to 4. And the fourth option is x is greater than or equal to 4. So therefore, our correct option with the graph there is x is less than 4. The open circle will be at 4 and will go to a direction where all the digits there are all less than 4. We move on. We have an interesting one here where we have a negative number outside the bracket. And the question here is 36 is greater than negative 3 into x plus 5. 36 is greater than negative 3 into x plus 5. This is the inequality we have at hand. x minus 5 rather. And we are to solve and graph these inequalities. Now let us move on. We have 36 is greater than negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15. OK? That's our first step. Our second step will be undoing the 15 here by subtracting 15 from both sides of the inequality, which also will enable us to cancel 15, which is positive 15 minus 15 is 0. And then we have 36 minus 15 is 20. Is greater than negative 3x. Negative 3x. So all we need to do is, in order to isolate our variable and to undo the multiplicational operation here, we will divide both sides by negative 3. Negative 3 obviously cancels negative 3. Because we are dividing by a negative number, our sign, inequality sign, will change into its opposite. Okay? So here we are dividing a positive number by a negative number and our answer will be negative. So therefore, negative 7 is less than x. Negative 7 is less than x. We need to plot this on our graph here. We have it in our options already, a, b, c, and d. And as we can see, option d is b is the correct option, where negative 7 is less than x. So therefore, our correct option there is negative 7. Although 7 is not shown there on your screen, but we can do it here. We can have negative 7 here, and then have your positive 7 in the other direction if you like, although they have no direct connection here. All we are interested in is our negative 7, and is an open circle because negative 7 is not inclusive. All right? And then we point to the direction where all the digits there are less than, are all greater than negative 7. Okay, negative 7. So therefore, we move on to, we move on to our next slide. And this slide is interesting. We have 1 over 2 minus 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3x is less than 5 over 6. We have a fraction this time around in our equality. 
So all we need to do is we should recognize the LCM knowing all the digits, the denominators there, 2, 3 and 6. Their lowest common multiple there is 6 because all the digits can get into 6 without a remainder. 2 can go into 6 3 times without a remainder. 3 can go into 6 without a remainder 2 times and 6 can go into 6 without a remainder. So therefore, in order to, in, for us to have a linear inequality, we should multiply all our terms by the LCM 6. So we say 6 times 1 over 2 minus 3, ta 3 minus 6 times 2 over 3x is greater than 6 times 6. Okay? So in doing so, we have 2 goes into 6, which is 3 times minus 3 goes into 6 is 2 times, 2 times 2 is 4x is less than 6 cancel 6 here. So we have a linear inequality now from a fraction. We have a linear inequality. We can go over this, multiply all the terms by 6. 2 goes into 6 is 3 times, 3 times 1 which is 3. 3 goes into 6 is 2 times, 2 times 2x is what? 4x. And 6 cancel 6 here and then we have 5. We bring down our 5. So we also want to get rid of our 3 here by subtracting 3 from both sides. 3 cancels 3. So we have negative 4x is greater than 5 minus 3 is what? 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. Again, we divide both sides by negative 4. Negative 4. Negative 4 cancels negative 4. So we have x in server less than, it will be a greater than now. Okay? 2 goes once into 2, 4 times. So we have 2 times, we have negative 1 over 2. Negative half, in other words. So as we can see, we have various options there. Okay? We have options A to D. The first option so it's negative 1.5 is greater than x. And the second option says negative 1.5 is less than x. The third one is talking about negative 2, which is obviously wrong. And then the, both the third and the fourth one, our circle is at 2, which is wrong. So therefore, our first one is the correct one, which says x is greater than negative one point or negative half, that is half of one, as you can see, okay? And it points in the same direction as the greater than sign, okay? So we move on to our next one, which is also a fraction, has a bit of a fraction in it. The next one has a fraction in the which, are, which is four over three x plus five is less than 17. Four over three x, plus 5 is less than 17. 4 over 3x plus 5 is less than 17. Still we have a fraction here and then all we need to do is multiply 3 with everything that we have here. Okay, 3 cancels out 3 here. We want to get rid of the fraction so that we can have a linear inequality. So we have 4x there, plus 5 times 3 is 15, is greater than 17 times 3, 3 times 7 is 21, 1 carry 2, 3 times 3, 3 times 1, 3 plus 2, you carry, you have 51. So we have our linear inequality here, which is 4x plus 15 is less than 51. All we need to do is subtract 15 from both sides here. So we have 4x, 15 will cancel out 15. So we have 51 minus 15, 46, 36, okay? So therefore, all we need to do here is we divide both sides by four, divide here by four, and divide here by four to isolate our variable x. Four cancels four. So we are left with x here. 4 goes into 36 is what? 9 times. So we have x is greater than 9. x is greater than 9. As you can see, that is option B. 
option A says 8, B 9, C 12, and D is 16. Our correct option there is option B, which is 9. Okay, we have another inequality here. which says 3 into 2m minus 1, 3 into 2m minus 1 is less than or equal to 4m plus 7. 3 into 2m minus 1 is less than or equal to 4m plus 7. First, all we need to do is we expand our bracket. Expanding our bracket by multiplying the number that is outside the bracket, immediately outside the bracket. That is 3 times 2m is 6m, minus 3 times 1 is 3, is less than or equal to 4m plus 7. Here we have variables on both sides. We have variables on both sides of the equation. We have 6m on one side of the inequality, and we have 4m on the other side of the inequality. Okay? So all we need to do is we subtract 4m from each side of the equation. Okay? Or if you want, we can subtract 6m from both sides of the equation. Whatever we do, we all stand at a because we said 4m, so let's do it a 4 minus 4m obviously is 2m. Minus 3 is great, less than or equal to. 4m minus 4m is 0, and then here comes our 7. All right, so all we need to do here is what 2m, we subtract 3 from both sides rather. Instead of subtracting, we are going to add 3 from both sides to undo our 3. Okay, so this obviously will cancel negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So we have 2m is less than or equal to 7 plus. 3 is 10. So to undo and to isolate our variable m, all we need to do is what? We divide both sides by 2. 2 cancels 2. 2 goes into 10 is 5 times. So therefore, m is equal to 5. The value of m, sorry, is not equal to, is greater than, is less than or equal to 5. m is less than or equal to 5. This tells us that our, our, our correct option here is is option A. We have another practice to do here. In the set of positive integers, what is the solution? What is the solution set of the inequality 2x minus 3 is greater than, is less than 5? So we have 2x minus 3 is less than 5. We will solve this, then after solving this, we have four options there. We will see in which of the options where all the numbers given there can make the inequality correct. Okay? So let us move on. First, by trying to isolate our variable here, we add 3 to both sides. And then we bring down our 2x. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0, which is also less than 5 plus 3 is what? 8. So all we need to do is what? We divide both sides by 2. Divide here by 2, 2 cancels 2, 2 goes into 8, 4 times. So therefore, x is less than 4. x is less than 4. Now, of all the four options we have, which of all the four, like a, the, 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 the numbers that are given in a, 0, 1, 2, and 3, is, can they replace x and still make this inequality correct? If it is 0, we say 0 is less than 4. We know that is correct. If you're supposed to take 1, 1 is less than 4. We know that is correct. 2 is less than 4. We know that is correct. 3 is less than 4. We know that is correct. How about option B? All the digits in option B are in option A. Look at option C. Are all the digits there can make this inequality correct? No. Because 4 is not less than 4. If you happen to take 4 in option C, 
and replace it with the x, we'll have 4 is less than 4, which is totally wrong. 4 is equal to 4. And the last one also, d also, we have a 4 there, which also says 4 is less than 4 if you substitute the x with a 4, which is wrong. So therefore, one option A and option B are the correct options. In the set of positive inequalities, okay, what is the solution of the set of? Now, zero is neither positive nor negative, so therefore our correct option there will be B, okay, because B doesn't have a zero. And the question is talking about positive integers. So the inclusion of zero at the fourth option disqualifies A because zero is neither positive nor negative. Zero is always zero. Now we have some trial questions here, but we'll be doing this together. They are word problem questions. And it will be interesting to see how we can derive our inequalities from these word problems. The first one is, you have $60 to spend on a concert. Like you want to go to a concert, Okay, whether it's a village concert or you want to go to the stadium or whatever to have a concert there, to enjoy yourself at a concert. Now the tickets at the concert cost $18. I know this is a very, very cheap concert. And there's also a fee for parking as well. So if you happen to come with your car or with your donkey cart or your horse cart, wherever you need to park, you have to pay $8 for that. Now what, what inequality can you use to represent the model in this, of the situation? Write an inequality to model the situation. Now, how much do you have to spend? You have $60, not more than $60. At the concerts, let tickets be, let tickets be T. You have $60 to spend on a concert, Tickets cost $18 each and parking is $8. Write an inequality to model the situation. Your capital here to spend at the, at, at the concert is $60. But the tickets at the gate is $8, $18. But wherever you park your vehicle or your whatever, your mobility, your means of mobility, whether it's a bike or motorbike, a donkey cart, a horse cart, whatever, you have to pay $8 for that as well. So that also is part of the cost. So if ticket is T, obviously the ticket is T. So the ticket is $18, T, plus your $8 you need to pay for parking. Okay? And this should be equal to, it should not be more than $60. Okay? So this should be at least less than or equal to $60. This should be less than or equal to 60. Because you cannot spend more than what you have. So all you can spend is $60 exactly or something that is less than $60. So the inequality here on top here represents that's the model of the, 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 the whole scenario where you have $60 to spend on a concert and you pay $18 as your ticket at the gate and your par in the parking lot also, you also pay $8 at the parking lot. So this is the equation that represents this information that we have. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one also, okay, if you borrow $60 from your mom and you pay her back at a rate of $7 per week, when will, you, when will, when will your debt be under fifteen dollars. When shall your debt be under fifteen dollars? Okay, you borrow money from our mom. Okay, and then but you pay back in installment. You pay back just like in the paycheck format. Huh? Every time you put in something, you are not paying everything cash because you are a student. You don't have money. Okay, but mom understands you very well. But every week you pay something, isn't it? Okay, every week you pay something. How much did you borrow from mom? You borrow $60 from mom. Okay? But how do you reduce the $60, the debt? You reduce it by paying $7 weekly. 
You pay it by paying seven dollars every week. You pay seven dollars every week, seven dollars. When will your debt be under 15? When will your debt be less than 15? When will your debt be, your debt with mom be less than 15 dollars? So this inequality model also represents the scenario we have here, wherein you learn, you get borrow sixty dollars from mom. Mom say yes, keep these sixty dollars, but this is not a gift. You have to pay back. Yes, mom, let's make an agreement. Every week I'm going to pay you seven dollars. Every week you put in seven dollars. Every week you put in seven dollars. Okay. At what time shall your debt be below fifteen dollars? Shall your debt be reduced from sixty dollars to fifteen dollars? We are not to solve here. Just to read and comprehend the scenario and represent this scenario on, on an inequality here. That is all we are taxed to do. Okay? We have another one here. We will all look at together. Now, Fatima is serving a picnic for 78 guests. Okay? Fatima is throwing out a picnic, and then there, there are about 78 guests in the picnic. Maybe Fatima is there as a little waiter, or maybe it's Fatima's party. But all we know is he, she will be there, the one, she will be the one distributing this food to the people. Okay? She plans to serve each guest at least one biscuit. If each, in, if each package, P, the package will be P, contains eight biscuits. Okay? So, now here is another exercise that we have to do, and this one also is a word problem. So we need to read this together and come up with an, equ an equality that, is, that satisfies the whole scenario. Fatima is having a picnic for 78 guests. She plans to serve each guest at least one biscuit. If each package P, if each package of a biscuit contains eight biscuits, which inequality could be used to determine how many packages of biscuit Fatima will need to buy? Now, remember Fatima's target is at least each guest should have a biscuit, one biscuit. At least therefore means less than or equal to. At least means Fatima is having a picnic for 78 guests. She plans to serve each guest at least one biscuit. At least one biscuit means more than or equal to one. Okay? More than or equal to one that is greater than or equal to. So this is this. This is what we should have there because it represents at least. Okay? Now each package contains at least eight biscuits. Which inequality could be used to determine how many biscuits, how many packages of biscuit Fatima will need? Okay, in a guess of 79, let the package, package, the package of biscuits is P. The package of biscuits is P. And Fatima is serving 78 guests. 78 guests in the, in the party. Okay, and in every, we have eight biscuits. So it's having more than or at least 78. So therefore, this is the inequality that represents the whole scenario where Fatima is serving in a party of 78 people and each and every person should get at least one biscuit. And if there are eight biscuits in one packet, that is eight P, eight times P, in every packet we have one. We have eight biscuits. And this, this should be distributed in between at least 78 guests, where each and every one should get at least one biscuit. If you are lucky to have more than one biscuit, that's fine, but you are entitled to at least one biscuit. So therefore, this brings us to the end of the lesson. And I hope you are staying at home, washing your hands every now and then, adhere to the necessary precautionary measures without going out, and keeping the necessary social distance.
This we shall overcome, and I thank you all for your kind attention.